Hey, what's going on guys? Wanted to talk to you tonight. Uh, just getting my uh, <coughs> turkey bow together. Um, I set up for this season. Um, not changing a whole lot. Uh, what I'm gonna use is um, pretty much the same setup last year. I'm trying to do the decap method again, at least for my first turkey, and hopefully get my second one with the, uh, with the bow. See how the season goes. Um, been scouting a lot lately, but anyway, this is a really cool product I wanted to share with you guys for those of you that are actually uh, trying to do the decap. So, one of my biggest struggles with using these broadheads is packing it, right? I used to carry a little tote with me and I would screw on my, uh, my broadhead when I got to the blind, which isn't that big of a deal, but they make this cool little sleeve for them um, that goes right up in your quiver. So, you know, pretty cheap. I think it was like five bucks. But uh, just wanted to share this with you guys. I didn't really know about it till this year. So um, I got mine from Shields. They got a heck of a deal, pretty much the best. Um, for two of these arrows and two of these uh, Magnus Bullhead heads, it is $50, free shipping. They sell these as well. Um, I'm not affiliated with Magnus or these heads at all. I'm just trying to share with you guys my experience um, in doing this. And I'm a little bit of an archery nerd. I mean, there's guys that are way better than I am out there, but um, I had an issue with getting these to fly correctly. And I tried a couple different heads and I wouldn't even take them in the field. Um, last season I did my first actual kill with one of these and it was phenomenal. I mean, it literally uh, took the head right off the turkey at about like 10 or 15 yards. And um, they it, this thing just flies phenomenal. Uh, I don't even really know how else to say. It flies like a field point. Comes with a four fletch with a little bit of a helical. So you can kind of see there. Um, pretty good arrow. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. You're not gonna be shooting long range with one of these. So if you guys would like, um, I'm gonna drop the link in this uh, video uh, for our YouTube. You can see what happened last year with these heads. Uh, me and Amanda, my wife, we doubled up. Um, really cool video, short. If you haven't checked it out, go, uh, go give it a, a check out and uh, let me know what you think. And uh, I hope this helps. Like I said, um, the biggest thing with using these that I, I experienced as a pain in the butt was putting them uh, away when you're done. And now they uh, got a nice little spot in my quiver and I'm good to go. My second broadhead of choice is going to be the G5 Mega Meat. Um, I believe for what I like to do with a head, honestly, if I'm going to use one of these mechanical heads, it's going to be a farther shot, probably 30 yards maybe, if something just doesn't work out. I don't want to push it any farther than that, but from my experience, I've killed a few birds with mechanical heads, and I just want something that puts a big hole in them, and these things fly amazing too, so... I figured why not. I haven't killed anything with these yet, so you know, hang with us. If it works out, I uh, might take one with this, but I'm really looking forward to taking it with the guillotine. Um, that's, that's really, it's super exciting. I hope you guys try it out. Hope this video was helpful, and uh, like and subscribe below. I really appreciate it, any of the support we get from you guys, and uh, hope this helps you out.